Okay, in this video, we will be adding mixed numbers that have the same denominator. And so let's begin. So this is our first problem. We have 3 and 1 third plus 2 and 1 third. And the way we have this problem is there's a whole number and then there's a fraction. There's a whole number and then there's a fraction. So the way we're going to do this problem is kind of split it up. So we have 3 and 1 third, which means we have 3 plus 1 third, plus we have a 2 plus a 1 third. At this point, what we could do is group all the whole numbers with whole numbers and all of the fractions with fractions. And we know 3 plus 2 is going to give us a 5. 1 third plus 1 third. They both have the same denominator, so all I need to do is add the numerator. And we know 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have plus 2 divided by 3. That's one way to write this, but we can write it as a mixed number. So we could say 5 2 third. And that's all we need to do for this problem. Okay, now we'll do the second problem. Same procedure. We have a whole number and a fraction. Here we just have a fraction. So our whole number was 2 plus this piece right here is a fraction. And here we don't have any whole number in front, so we just have our fraction, so 1 fifth. Now, because of these two pieces, the denominator are both 5, we get to combine them, um, but we still have a positive 2. So we have a positive 2 plus um, 2 plus 1 is 3, common denominator is 5. And we can write this as a mixed number, so we have 2 and 3 fifths. We can box it in. A last one, same idea. We have a whole number, a fraction, plus a whole number and a fraction. So we can split it up first. So we have 4 plus 3 divided by 7 plus 2 plus 4 divided by 7. Um, to make it easy, I can change colors. So we have a 4 and we have a 2. When we add them, we get a 6 plus, again, common denominator is 7, so we get to add the numerator. So 3 plus 4 is 7 divided by 7. Now, 7 divided by 7, it's like you have $7 and you have 7 friends, so each person would get a dollar. So 7 divided by 7 is really just 1. So we have 6 plus 1 which we get a positive 7. And that's all we need to do for these types of problems. 